The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin is one of the most influential and groundbreaking works in the history of science. Published in 1859, this book revolutionized our understanding of the natural world and our place within it. In this summary, we'll take a closer look at Darwin's ideas, his evidence, and his arguments for the theory of evolution by natural selection. Part 1, Introduction The book begins with an introduction that sets the stage for Darwin's argument. He explains that he will present evidence for the theory of evolution, which suggests that species change over time and that all living things are connected through a process of descent with modification. He also acknowledges the controversy surrounding this theory and anticipates objections from readers. Part 2, Variation U Under Domestication Darwin's first chapter focuses on the selective breeding of domesticated animals and plants, which he uses to demonstrate how artificial selection can produce significant changes in traits over time. He then makes the case that similar processes occur in the natural world where environmental factors and competition for resources act as selective pressures on wild populations. Part 3, Variation U Under Nature In this chapter, Darwin builds on his previous argument by providing evidence for natural selection in the wild. He describes how populations of plants and animals vary in their physical traits and how these variations can lead to differences in survival and reproduction rates. He also notes that some greats are heritable, meaning they can be passed on to offspring. Part 4, Natural Selection This chapter lays out Darwin's central argument for the theory of evolution by natural selection. He explains that traits that give an organism an advantage in surviving and reproducing in a particular environment are more likely to be passed on to the next generation. Over time, this process can lead to the development of new species as different populations accumulate different traits. Part 5, Laws of Variation In this chapter, Darwin explores the laws that govern variation within a population. He argues that variations are caused by genetic mutations, and that these mutations can be either beneficial, harmful, or neutral. He also discusses how sexual reproduction can contribute to variation and the importance of the environment in determining which traits are advantageous. Part 6, Difficulties on Theory This chapter addresses some of the potential objections to the theory of evolution by natural selection. Darwin acknowledges that some phenomena, such as the complexity of the eye, seem difficult to explain through this theory alone. However, he argues that these difficulties do not invalidate the theory and that further research and evidence may help to resolve these questions. Part 7, Instinct In this chapter, Darwin turns his attention to animal behavior, particularly the complex instincts that govern social behavior and reproduction. He argues that these instincts have evolved through the same processes of natural selection and variation as physical traits and that they can be traced back to earlier, simpler behaviors. Part 8, Hybridism This chapter explores the phenomenon of hybridization, where two different species can produce offspring that are viable and sometimes fertile. Darwin uses this as evidence for the relatedness of species and the evolutionary process, suggesting that hybridization can sometimes lead to new species. Part 9, on the imperfection of the geological record. In this chapter, Darwin addresses the incomplete nature of the fossil record and how this can make it difficult to trace the evolutionary history of particular species. He also notes that the fossil record does provide some evidence for evolutionary change over time. Part 10, on the geological succession of organic beings. Building on his previous chapter, Darwin argues that the geological record can be used to trace the evolution of different groups of organisms over time. He provides examples of how different types of organisms appear and disappear from the fossil record, and how this can be used to understand their evolutionary history. Darwin then discusses how new species arise. He argues that the process of natural selection can lead to the divergence of species from a common ancestor. 
When a population of organisms is separated into different environments, they will be subject to different selective pressures. Over time, these selective pressures can cause the populations to diverge from one another and eventually become separate species. This process is known as speciation. Darwin goes on to discuss the importance of variation in the process of natural selection. He argues that without variation, natural selection could not occur. Variation arises from differences in the inherited traits of individuals within the population. These traits are passed down from generation to generation and can lead to differential survival and reproduction among individuals. This differential survival and reproduction is the essence of natural selection. The origin of species concludes with a discussion of the implications of the theory of evolution by natural selection. Darwin acknowledges that his theory has profound implications for our understanding of the natural world and our place in it. He argues that the theory of evolution by natural selection provides a more coherent and satisfying explanation of the diversity of life than any other theory. It also helps to explain many of the apparent imperfections and limitations of living organisms. Despite its revolutionary nature, Darwin acknowledges that his theory of evolution by natural selection will be met with resistance and skepticism. However, he believes that over time, as more evidence accumulates and the theory is refined and improved, it will become widely accepted as a fundamental truth about the natural world. In conclusion, The Origin of Species is a groundbreaking work that laid the foundation for our modern understanding of the process of evolution by natural selection. Darwin's insights and observations revolutionized our understanding of the natural world and continue to shape our thinking today. The book is a masterpiece of scientific inquiry and remains one of the most important and influential works in the history of science. If you want to delve deeper into the fascinating world of evolutionary biology and learn more about the process of natural selection, then you should definitely read The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin. You can purchase this groundbreaking book through the link in the description and explore the foundational work that forever changed our understanding of the natural world.